The first thing that you need to do to be able to publish something to the web is to set up your website. We're using cPanel, which is at mccdgm.net slash cPanel. Now you've been assigned a password and a username. I have several. I'm going to use Mary for this one. And you will use what was assigned to you, which should be some combination of your first name, last name. It's all inside of the classroom. When you first start, it's going to tell you to change your password. Now, your new password should have a combination of letters, numbers, capital and lowercase. Something easy for you to remember, but hard for other people to guess. And you'll have to type it in twice. And then hit change your password now. Now every semester, I will either, usually in the summer, I completely wipe everything clean. So you want to save everything, have a backup, because you won't be able to get into it after the semester's over. It'll be up till at least June, July, but by August it's coming down. Once you're in here, it's going to tell me that my password has been changed in all these areas. That's fine. I'm going to hit go back and it's going to have me log in again with the new password. If you run into problems, I can always reset your password for you again. It has getting started help. It's not a bad idea to view their um, video tutorials. I've already seen them and I'm not going to play them in this video, but you probably should watch them. We're going to ignore most of this for our class, the top applica applications. We'll do something with a um, with WordPress once, so I will show you how to use that. We're not going to really be using any of the automated things. We're not going to be setting up web mail in this class. Pretty much, you're going to work with two things here. You're going to work with your file manager and possibly your FTP accounts. So when I go into my file manager, and I'm typically going to go into the web group, public underscore HTML. You're going to see that I have multiple folders in here. I have index.html, and that's really important because index is named, when it's named index.html, that's what open, opens up by default. So my web address for that file would be mary.mccdgm.net, and that I don't have to type anything in, index is the default page, this is what shows up. And if I were to put slash index.html here, you'd see it's the exact same page. So you use index and it has to be lowercase. I don't want you using spaces or uppercase letters in any of your file names. That's critically important. In fact, sometimes things won't even upload if you're using spaces. So in my file manager, that index page links to an index page in each of these folders. Now this is for our Web 175 class. You may already have existing folders if you've taken any other the other classes. If you've taken CIS 142 or Web 105, you might already have these in here. If you haven't already done so, you want to create a new folder. And the new folder should be named Web 175. And that's going to be created in your public HTML folder. And you'll hit create new folder. I'm not going to because mine already exists. In this folder, we're going to put in a bunch of different things. We're going to have different folders for each lab and for each project. I'm actually probably just going to do one folder for all of the labs. So I'm going to do a new folder and I'm going to call the folder labs. And I could organize this a little bit further, which I'm going to do. I'm going to name a folder images. And I'm going to drop my Eli image inside of there. Now, typically, if I was doing a full website, I would also have a folder for, and I'll go ahead and include that, cascading style sheets. 
and possibly one for JavaScript, but I don't think I'm going to end up using that in this class, at least not at the top level. So when I look at my index page here, and we'll see if that one exists. I think it exists, but I don't think I've put anything in it yet. So this is for website design. And it's here, but it's blank. There's nothing in it. So you'll see when I make modifications on this on the first exercise that it really uploads. Okay, so that's what you really need to do to get started. But what you need to know is you need to know how to set up your FTP account. Now you can set up separate accounts if you want to. I sometimes set up a separate account for each of my subfolders. But the easiest thing to do is just use the default account, which is whatever your username was assigned with your normal password, and you can click on the configure FTP client. And this is going to give us the information that we need to go on to the next video where we set up our Dreamweaver FTP software. Remember, FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol, and that's how you're going to upload your pages and your images and all of your files into your server. So this have direct, has directions for several different things. It doesn't tell you Dreamweaver, but this is really what you need to know. My username is Mary and my FTP server is ftp.mary.mccdgm.net. The other thing that you need to remember is that everything that we're going to use is inside of public underscore HTML. And then I'm going to set it to the Web 175 folder. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this video here and we'll pick it back up for the next video with setting up a site in Dreamweaver.